Shall we move on to NHL Jimmy the Bag? Yes, let's do it. All right, let's move on to uh, let's move on to uh, NHL Jim the Bag. And uh, since we've earned it, uh, you know, our regular viewers know what our records are in the NHL uh, in general. But since we've earned it. We absolutely have the right to uh, to uh, tell folks what our records are. Uh, winning night for both of us uh, yesterday, and or no, I had nothing yesterday. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the uh, at the 17th. Sorry about that. And uh, you actually did have one loser on uh, on the trade money line. But overall on the year, I'm 17 and 11 uh, plus 110 average line plus eight units plus 26 percent ROI. Ooh. And Jim is now after last night's loss, a tough one. 22 and 15 plus five and a half units and plus 12 percent ROI and that is also an awesome record uh pretty much unsustainable throughout the whole year but maybe who knows who the hell knows I'm not the one to say that maybe we will be able to sustain that all year long all right so on today's card there were five games that had overnight lines and um a bunch of totals that I'm looking at and I'm assuming that there is a uh, one game that you're uh, that you're probably agreeing with me on uh let me find it where the hell is it um Wait, let me see. All right. Well, the first one. All right. No, let's. Uh, it's weird that it's gone down. I forgot the Carolina Calgary game is a game that I am definitely looking towards the over on, and I'm assuming that you're going to be all over Calgary on this one as well. You are absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. I am all over Calgary. I love the number that I'm getting. They just had four days off. Um, I, I just really like the situation, and it looks like um, for the Hurricanes, they're going to have a goaltending controversy mm-hmm. on their hands. Um, only Skinner and Turovainen have scored more than one goal. That five-goal outburst the Canes just had, now they're just averaging 2.8 goals a game. I think the Saddle Dome is going to be a tough place to play this year. I think the Flames are a good hockey team. I hate saying that. I'm from Vancouver, and I despise Calgary Flames, but uh, I think they're going to be very good. They're top-end talent, good Roe Monaghan, Kachuk, leading the way in excellent Mm -hmm. defensive core. Yes, you're absolutely right. I am... uh, all over Calgary tonight. I will be making it an official pick, and I will be betting it uh, yeah. on my own. All right, yeah. I'm sorry. Just, there's so many games going on that I have so many friggin' sheets of notes that uh, that I flubbed the. Uh, I was gonna. I was gonna make some sort of like jokey thing predicting that I was guaranteeing that you were going to be loving Calgary, but, <laughs> but I flubbed it because I have so many friggin' notes here. All right, so uh, I, in my notes, I'm liking the over, I'm liking Calgary, and maybe even uh, the Calgary uh, team total over. So what are you going to take here? I'm going to take I'm going to take Calgary minus one, and I'm going to take the uh, the over. Do you think that uh, Calgary will give up enough goals to make the over at just five and a half a decent play? Well, the Hurricanes just had an outburst, just scored yeah, some goals. Yeah. So if, if there was a time to do that, I think now is probably it. And it's a very low total. All right, so I'm taking Calgary minus one and the Calgary over. The uh, over five and a half is just minus 104 right now at uh, at Pinnacle and a bunch of places. And the minus one line, of course, I make my own minus one lines here. Uh, the uh, money line part of that will be minus uh, 123 at Pinnacle, and the puck line part of that will be uh, plus 230, uh, 238 also at Pinnacle. How do you want to take this one, Jim? I'm just going to take the money line, Okay, Calgary Flames. I'm going to create a situation where if the Hurricanes do really play strong because they have been playing well, mm-hmm. um, the 5-3 win in Edmonton was was impressive. And uh, so that if it, if it does, if it is a tight game, I still have a shot at cashing. So I'm just going to take right. the money line. Okay. Minus 123 is what you're getting there. I'm on again, minus one and the over five and a half at minus 104. Curious to know why you're not also on the over, Jim. I mean, I'm liking that one a lot. And uh, I'm thinking that if you even liked it a little bit, you would, uh, you would go on it as well. Uh, just curious here. Always, it's always important. Opposition research, opposition opinions. Why would you, why would you not take the over here? Just because I, I need to make sure that that five goal outburst by the Canes mm-hmm. was not an anomaly. Right. If if the Flames are up one zero two zero, they have such a great defensive core that they'll yeah. be they'll dump and chase and slow the game down. Yeah. Uh, it's not that it, it, my lean would be over to that mm-hmm. side, but the I'm I I think the minus one twenty three on the money line for the Flames is incredible value. Yeah. I did not expect it to be at that number. I thought I was going to get worse odds. So I'm just going to hammer at what I think is the best case scenario for me. And I don't necessarily want to go on this three ways, but the Calgary team total is two and a half minus 140. Why would that not be a good bet? Uh, it would be a good bet, uh, but I, I don't like the minus yeah. 140. You know, I, it's early in the year and, and there have been more goals scored than we expected this yeah. year. Um, and uh I, I'm going to try to stay away from minus 140s yeah. as much as I can because they've already burnt me early in the year. Sure. And uh, But I, I do think that that is a safe play. And Scott Darling is supposed to get the bulk of starts. He's supposed to be starting now, and he's not had a good beginning of the season. And 
you know, the more I think about it, the more I think that that's a good good spot. But, yeah. Uh, Very weird, though, that because uh, I bet this one on the overnight line. I think I got it at minus 130, and it's actually gotten bet down. Carolina's taking some money. It's now down to a oh, on the, the overnight line. Carolina was plus 118 where I was saw, where I saw it. Now it's down to a plus 110. Why do you think lines got money come in on Carolina? I mean, not that you would know, but. Uh, well, I, I, maybe people are thinking that the four days off will, will put the flames and make them play sloppy yeah. early, early on, and the Hurricanes are. You know, teams in the NHL, when, when they start winning on the road, they have no distractions. They don't have their families bothering them. They're, they're able to really concentrate, and I think maybe right. that would be the underlying theme. All right, so uh, let's move on. Uh, another game that I was uh, I think is very interesting, New Jersey and Ottawa. Now, we liked Ottawa. Not only did they not win, they got shut the F out at home. Uh, that was, uh, you know, somewhat interesting. Uh, I was surprised by that. Uh, you know, I, I was definitely surprised by the uh, result. You could make the argument that we shouldn't have taken Ottawa at that high of a line, but regardless of the of what the line was, it was definitely a surprising result, right? Uh, maybe we made a mistake taking them at that high of a line. Now their next game against New Jersey, and New Jersey, of course, is on fire, just killing it. And uh, and uh, I'm again, I'm thinking that maybe Ottawa is uh, is uh, going to be a, a, a systematically. Um, overvalued for a while going forward. I do think they're going to have a bounce back here at the very least offensively, and I'm liking the over in this one as well. What do you think, Jim? I think that is a uh, safe place to, to bet the over here. Um, mm -hmm. I, I also think that Ottawa is going to score more goals this year, and Turris has already got off to a great start, and Stone looks really good. Broussard looks good. Um, I think Carlson must have needed that game. Mm -hmm. You know, he played 22 minutes, was a minus two. I think he's going to be, get stronger as the year goes on. And we know that the Devils are scoring. You know, Will Butcher has nine points in six games. They lead the league with a 30.8 power play percentage. They're third in goals per game at 4.2. They have a very productive group of goalies. Um, what is the number on? Yeah, the, uh, so this overnight. is another one that's weird that moved against me. I bet it on the overnight line. I forgot where I bet it. I think I got like minus 105. That's what I got it. And it's money has come in on the under. It's now over five and a half plus 104 at uh, at Pinnacle and SportsBetting.ag and Bet Online. Why do you think money's coming in on the under? Well. The Senators getting shut down the way they did in changing their whole game plan with Carlson mm -hmm. might be a concern for people. When Carlson is on the ice, he, he controls the pace. He dictates everything. And they were, they were handling everything by committee, and that is changing now. And I mm -hmm. think that might be the fear with some gamblers. Yeah. And, and I, didn't, I didn't have the over as a lean coming in here today. Okay. Um, it wasn't I, – I've got a bunch today, but that wasn't one of them. I, it, uh, now, of course, I'm biased from getting shell-shocked of the 3-0 loss to the Canucks. You know, and so I'm, that affected me, and that that's probably why it wasn't a lean. Uh, this Devils team scores goals, mm -hmm. um, and they also have Corey Schneider in that, who is one of the top five goalies in the league. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to leave this game alone, mm -hmm. um, but I can I can completely understand your feeling of going on the over. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to take the over five and a half plus one hundred four. I also, uh, despite the fact that I think Ottawa probably does get a win here, I think that New Jersey is once again getting disrespected at the line, and I did bet that one on the overnight line, and uh, New Jersey at, at plus 140, or wherever it is right now, is, uh, is, uh, is I think, uh, yeah, plus 140. I'm, I'm going to hold off on that one. That's just a lean that I don't have the balls to give, but, uh, but I think that there is value there with New Jersey, but I'm going to take that one at a plus 140. Some very interesting comments here. Robert Carlos says, Bissell, I work at the Westin in Ottawa. That's got to oh, be nice. a fun job. Vancouver was there for three nights, so there you go. They were rested, geared up. I mean, that stuff matters. That, that stuff, stuff matters. That stuff definitely matters. That you stuff know? matters. When you know that a team just got in at 3 a.m. that morning or when they've been sitting there stewing, they were sitting in the West and stewing for three days waiting for this game. And then they came out and they, yeah, that stuff really, really matters. Uh, other comments here, a lot of people agreeing that, uh, that the Devils are probably a team up with some value. And uh, thanks so much, Terrence Kelly says. This, I love the way you got at that hater the other day. Thanks so much, Terrence <laughs> Kelly. Do you guys would appreciate that. See, that's why I love haters. I mean, even if it's like a fake hater, I'm going to be like, all right, maybe this guy isn't a real hater. He's a troll. But I'm going to go on it and uh, people will appreciate it. All right. So uh, I'm going to take, uh, I'm gonna take uh, the over on that one. I'm going to hold off on the uh, side. And and uh, you're going to pass in this game as well, right? Yeah. All right, Jim, out of the rest of the cards, what, what do you like that you really want to share with us? You can't wait to give us. I can't wait to bet on the Blackhawks this evening. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I was shocked again, just like the Flames. I was shocked at the number I'm being given. I know that both teams are slumping. Uh, the Blackhawks have been outscored 11-6 and losing two of their last three. Mm -hmm. And the Blues were up 4-0 after two periods. That's going to bother these Blackhawks. They're going to come out flying. Uh, since the start of last season, 
The Blackhawks are 11-3-1 on the second half of back-to-back games. That's big. Mm-hmm. Dreisaitl being out is a huge loss for this Oilers offense that doesn't have a lot of depth. Uh, Cam Talbot will be back in goal. One in three, 3.96 goals against average, 880 save percentage. He was lifted in his only other road start of the year after stopping just four of seven shots. I love the Blackhawks at home here. I think this is um, easy. Okay. Uh, the line, best line right now would be minus 109 at uh, betonlinesportsbetting.ag. That line, I have nothing to say because, uh, of course, there was no overnight line, so I didn't have a chance. To, when the hell do you get a chance to look at these overnight lines by this time? I uh, you do your yeah. I uh, wake up at four in the morning. Oh, there you go, Jim the bag. High five, high five. Well, I guess that's why, because I kind of do the opposite. I I work until four in the morning and then uh, go to sleep. And I guess the other thing is that you uh, you are not uh, deep in college football like I am. So I've got like fifty deep games to go, and so you have extra time, Jim the bag. Wakes up at fucking four in the morning. That's how you fucking kick ass in anything, right? That's how you do it. You sacrifice. Well, I didn't know how I was going to possibly That's do right. it That's uh, right. with basketball and hockey. And so um, I was asleep last night at 7 o'clock. Yep. Takes fucking sacrifice. And that's I'm proud of you, Jim. I'm proud to hear that. I'm proud to hear that. All right. Uh, uh, but still, the lines aren't out by then. How do you, you make your own line and you're like, well, what am I going to like here? Yeah. Okay. Wow. There you go. That's, uh, that's deep handicapping. Jim the bag getting up early in the morning and making his own lines on this shit. Wow. There you go, Jim. Like in Edmonton at minus 109. Black All right. Hawks. Black Hawks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right. yeah. I just fucked up that whole bit. All right. There you go. Black Hawks minus 109. All right. Now let me uh, let me hit you with another one that I bet on the overnight line. We'll see if you agree with it or not. I don't know. Nashville, Philly. Great call, by the way, on uh, Nashville on the puck line uh, in their last game. And a great call myself on the under. It was a rare puck line and the under are anti-correlated, obviously. But uh, we both hit. On uh, that one, and now Nashville going up against Philly, and Philly is obviously rolling at home. And uh, Philly also, you know, it probably I'm guessing that because they uh, because of the way they lost their last game at Nashville, they're 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 not going to overlook this game and uh, and looking for some revenge. Now, I don't know if they're going to be able to pull it out, but this is another game where I bet the over at five and a half, and it looks like it's another game where I bet the over and it's moved in the opposite way that I got it. I I, for, I think I got it at minus one fifteen. I don't remember. Or no, I think I got it minus one oh eight. But now it's uh, minus 103 on the over. And again, I don't understand that unless you think that Pekka Rene is uh, someone you don't want to fade with, uh, with, with over bets. But uh, Philly's been scoring. And now Philly's scoring is going to come down at some point in a major way. But because it's a revenge game, I think they're going to continue to step it up. And I think Nashville should be up productive offensively. Another five and a half over that I'm liking. Am I wrong here, Jim? You're not wrong. I have had some concerns. Uh, Wayne Simmons is not going to be right. in the lineup. Yeah. Um, and... Michael Newverth is going to get is likely uh, to get the start, and he's looked very good. Mm-hmm. And I think that he is a nice shot at taking this starting job away from from Elliot. One and one with a one point five two goals against average, nine fifty six save percentage. He's been waiting for an opportunity. This Phillies team, I, I I'm I can't I didn't expect to just be enamored with them the way I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, their coach Dave Haxtell, I didn't know anything about. Uh, head coach at University of Dakota for 11 seasons. Mm-hmm. It was the first coach to go directly from the NCAA to the NHL since the legend Badger Bob Johnson in 82. <laughs> right. This team is firing on all cylinders. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, after losing, um, they've outscored um, the Caps and Panthers 13-3. to um, They just they seem to be scoring goals. Now, my issue was twofold. It was Wayne Simmons not being in the lineup. Benino not being in the lineup, even though he's more of a defensive specialist anyways. But Peke Rene has looked very good yeah, of late, allowing yeah. four goals in the last three games. And like you said off the top, when is the Flyers scoring going to slow down? I think it slows down without Wayne Simmons. He's a power mm-hmm. play monster. He's a great player. He's big, tough, mm-hmm. fast. He does it all. And so uh, I am staying away from All right. Game. And your advice has put me off of that one. You're absolutely right, uh, Jim the Bag. Thanks so much for uh, putting me off of uh, off of that one. I will uh, I will pass on that one. And do you think that, uh, yeah, so I guess you think that Philly uh, looking for revenge here because of the way they lost to Nashville uh, might not be a great bet at a low line. You know, uh, I think that Wayne Simmons is one of the most right. important players mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. to a team in the NHL because Drew and Couturier and uh, Voracek. I mean, Voracek is actually much bigger, but he doesn't play up, that up, big. Up, 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 HB123, Simmons on the ice this morning. Doesn't mean he's going to play. Was he wearing a non-contact jersey? Interesting. Yeah. yeah. All, all the reports I got, and that's it's was, very right, interesting, that Simmons was, out. was right. that uh, well, may not be in the lineup due to a lower body injury. Mm-hmm. 
you know, uh, Eve, you know, uh, that's a great, and thank you for coming in with that important information. HB one, two, three. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I, I'm still going to be uh, hesitant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That is a, uh, that's a, this is a tough game. It's a tough game. Uh, the fly Philly Jensen bun zone saying Philly, not for real, which in general, I would agree with. And he's saying that uh, Nashville's turned it around and that's also something in general i would agree with as well so uh yeah this is a tough one i'm staying way the hell off it thanks for all the advice from everyone from commenters from jimmy the bag and i'm just gonna pass on it as far as a uh, an official pick is concerned and let's talk about one other game where again the total moved uh, in the opposite way of where i was leaning the islanders and the rangers now i thought that just based on the way they've been playing that uh, the under was a little bit of an obvious play maybe too obvious uh, but maybe solid, but the line has gotten bet up towards the over, and now the under five and a half is at positive money. Uh, I did not bet this one on the overnight line. Uh, obviously, both teams here have been have been terrible. The Islanders have tended to own the Rangers uh, recently, uh, so maybe a shot with the Islanders as an underdog. What do you think about this one, Jim? I think the Rangers are going to allow a lot of goals and mm -hmm. score goals. I don't think they're going to be a tight defensive unit. And now the Islanders aren't scoring. And I said, we, we talked about this um, last week, that Jordan Eberle is not going to help Tavares. This first line is not going to, is not going to start scoring. They have scored four goals in the six games. Eberle has none. The Islanders are 0 for 20 on the power play. They've allowed three shorthanded goals. They've been outscored 3-0 when they're on the power play. That will change. But mm -hmm. I... I think the Rangers are going to be in offensive games and the Islanders are going to be in defensive games and mixing these two together. I don't know what the hell's going to happen. Yeah, it is a little bit tough. All right. So, so far, correct me if I'm wrong. I've got only one pick from you. Calgary money line, right? Uh, yes. And yeah. I've also got for, for me, I've got oh. Calgary minus one Calgary over and the New Jersey, Ottawa over Jim. Is there anything else you like? Yeah. So I, I also have the Blackhawks. I also That's have the right. Blackhawks. I'm sorry. Why? I did no, not write that one down. No problem. Damn. Okay. But Chicago, yeah, I do have a, I do have a couple moves. Uh, I'm going to take the under mm -hmm. in the Canucks Bruins game. Mm -hmm. Now I know that Tuco Rast was, uh, injured in practice, but, uh, Anton Kudobin is a, is a pretty good backup and I'm fine. With that, the Bruins are battling injuries. Bergeron and Backus are getting closer. Now they just lost Spooner. They, they already lack depth. And Anders Nilsson made his Canuck debut with a shutout. He's going to start again. He, uh, Jacob Markstrom has made 70 Canuck starts without ever recording a shutout. The Sedins have gotten off to a slow start. Brock Bozer leads the, the club in scoring with four points. I, I just think this is going to be a, a, an ugly, ugly, low-scoring hockey game. And I was pleased to see that I could get it at five and a half. Yeah, five and a half minus 111 is the best line at a bunch of places. Sports betting, bet online, pinnacle, a bunch of places at five and a half minus 111. Of course, you don't use five dimes lines. Five dimes has minus 110. So Vancouver, Boston, under five and a half minus 111. All right. I did not, again, I, I, I mean, obviously Vancouver having some serious issues scoring, and I think that's going to be a, a, a long-term problem for them this year. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So I, I did not look at that game because no overnight line, but uh, I can't say that I disagree with it at first glance. All right, uh, Jim. I, I do have ahead. one more move. Uh, yep. Actually, I have two more moves. Let's if hear. we have time, if I can yes, answer it really quickly. Let's hear it. Um, I'm going to take the St. Louis Blues mm -hmm. on the road, and I'm going to take them minus one and a half. On the puck line. Yes. Okay. I really like this situation. The Avs have come crashing down the earth mm. like we predicted. They lost by a combined seven to two in their last two games. Their four and one start was helped for, by back to back victories against the depleted bad Boston Bruins team. Tonight, they start Jonathan Bernier, who, as a goalie, I, got, I watched get lit up over and over and over with the, with the Leafs. The Blues got Alexander Steen back. They were up 4 0 on the Blackhawks. They are a really good team. Yeah. And I think they're going to jump all over the Avs. I, and I'm going to take the, the puck line. I think I get a juicy number. Puck line. Best line right now at Pinnacle plus two sixty six plus two sixty six. Jim, if you win that one, you'll get two and a half units of profit. And Ooh. yeah, in general, I've been liking uh, St. Louis. I think they're they're playing like a faster brand of, of hockey than than they than we than we've seen from the past years, right? Wow, yeah, that line did not have an overnight line. So uh, I because I because I did not wake up at four in the morning. I woke <laughs> up uh, about. 20 minutes ago, or I woke up uh, about 12 minutes before the show started. Uh, because because I, I did not look at that, but I might blindly tell you on this one. Would you be okay with that? If I, I would be honored. You? I would be absolutely honored. Ooh, let me see. It can be a little bit tough to play. And, and you think that Colorado is definitely, yeah, the abs are, are, are not for real. And it's just the line is, is very tempting. All right. I'll, I'll think about that while we hear your next pick. What's your other pick you want to add on here? 
Um, I you said you know, had a second one. Yeah, yeah, and uh, but there, there, I, this is a lean, and, and maybe if we talk it out a little bit, okay. um, I'm very uh, interested in the stars that Coyotes under. It's at six. Mm -hmm. uh, the Coyotes have started 0-5 and one. Their child general manager has no idea how important toughness is. The toughest <laughs> guy on your team is your coach. You're fucked. Uh, they look bad. Mm -hmm. uh, they have scored more than two goals only once, and. Uh, this rookie, who I didn't know anything about, Aiden Hill, six foot six, who's uh, taking over for Anthony Ranta, looks really good. The Stars, and I, we keep hitting this over and over and over again. There's way more defensive team under Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. Ben has done next to nothing this year. Sagan leads the team with three goals. Uh, ben Bishop is rolling three and one with a 1.49 goals against average and a 944 save percentage. I even just saying these things out loud, mm -hmm. I'm going to take the under six. All right, let's uh, find the, here we go. NHL totals. Find the best line will be under six minus 107 at uh, betonlinesportsbetting.ag. Okay. So that's, uh, that's under six. Uh, all right. And, uh, and uh, so, so to sum up, Jim, Jim, uh, I've got you on Calgary money line, Chicago money line, Boston under five and a half, St. Louis puck line a plus two sixty six, and Dallas under six. And I'm on Calgary minus one, Calgary over, and the Ottawa over five and a half. And uh, I'm thinking about uh, going on that St. Louis puck line as well. You really like that one, huh? The, 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 the abs really are do. not for real. It's the it's the abs defense that's right. the problem. I I like the way they split up their forward units. They they actually have changed the the forward units in, in practice yesterday for today but their defense is just awful mm -hmm. it's just so bad mm -hmm. and i and i just think they're gonna get touched all right i will tell you on that one they'll do it on the minus one line st louis minus one the uh the money line part of that is minus 107 at pinnacle and of course the park line is the juicy plus 266 line uh also at pinnacle so st louis minus one i will go with that one as well and i'm agreeing with you uh with the uh, dallas uh, arizona under two but again i didn't look into that game no overnight line so i will uh i will uh, pass on that one and then before we move on to the next segment we didn't touch on this game so i'm assuming it's going to be a pass for you but it's certainly an interesting handicapping situation i think you know what to bring up here tampa bay against columbus Thank right you. yeah uh bobrovsky against uh, Tampa Bay's offense. Uh, was Bobrovsky's last start a glitch or a sign that maybe uh, he can be scored on by teams like Tampa Bay? What do you think? I, I've got this right here. I'm so happy that you brought mm -hmm. it up. Uh, I want to take the Jackets badly, yeah. and, and I'm thankful that we can talk out loud because this is my last real big lean. I, these are two very good clubs, as we know. Kucherov is on fire. But tonight's game will end a stretch of three road games and four nights for the Lightning. Yeah. And that is tough. The Jackets have won four straight. They're getting production for their whole, from their whole lineup. Uh, five different players scored in their 5-2 win over the Jets. And we, had, we hit that with, twice. We hit that with the team total, and we hit that with the win straight up. The Jackets swept the season series versus the Lightning last year. Do these Lightning, are they comfortable with the way they played this year and just want to go home? I mean, is this a nice chance for the Jackets? The reason why I didn't just hammer it was because the number that we're getting isn't perfect. Well, um, what do you mean? It's it's it's, it's quite low. It's uh, it's uh, I mean it's just a, a sort of standard home favorite line. It's uh, the best line would be minus one thirty. Yeah, like minus one thirty five. It's mid one thirties. But I guess I, I guess after getting minus one twenty three, I mean the numbers I got on the Blackhawks and the Flames mm -hmm. made me hammer it right away. And and the number I, I thought that the Lightning, who might be the best team in the Eastern Conference, might get a little give me a, a better situation with betting mm -hmm. on the Jackets and. I'm uncomfortable. I, you know what? Even saying it out loud, I just, I, yeah, I don't think I want to fade. It does feel a little like, crappy. I feel like the, the the main issue here is just Bobrovsky. His last start was uh, gave up a bunch of goals, and uh, is he going to be vulnerable again here, or uh, or is that uh, was that fluky? His last uh, bad performance. I, I would be looking over my shoulder. We mm -hmm. like that backup Corpusala. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, of course, we're talking about a two-time Vesna Trophy winner, but. Um, yeah, I you know I think the Lightning are an extremely good squad, and this is going to be a very close game. And and uh, if I could have got a better number, I would take it. All right, yeah, know. my notes on this game were uh, that I was looking to take the Jackets, but that there's feels like there might be something trappy about this one, so I'm going to stay off it as well. All right, so let's uh, wrap. So we'll wrap up the uh, NHL segment. A lot of games. I think we got a lot of nice picks once again. Jim the bag on Calgary money line, Chicago money line, Boston under five and a half, St. Louis puck line, and Dallas under six. And I'm on Calgary minus one. Calgary over, Ottawa over, and I'm tailing Jimmy with St. Louis minus one. Did I get that? Did I miss anything, Jim? No, you got it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free 
for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.